Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another SoFi video here. So, in this video, I'm going to be covering Biden's student loan repayment program. I think this is going to be very bullish for SoFi, and I'm going to give out a few estimates on where I think it's going to boost SoFi, right? So, um, just first off, the uh, technicals here. So, we are looking uh, optimistically to break out of this resistance of 888. And on the pessimistic side, we are trying to see if this uh, support level of 855 can hold. So, with that being said, over here, we can see that uh, interest will start accruing again uh, this month in September and borrowers will make their first payments in October. So in my estimates, I did not um, account that the uh, you know borrowers will pay back their loans, um, which I'll get into why. So how much uh, in student loans do, does SoFi have? They have about $5.38 billion in so, uh, student loans. So that is a lot of interest they can accrue, right? And what is the percentage of that interest? Well, over here, you can look at, um, you know, their variable APR and their fixed APR, which is their interest rate. And I basically just took um, some of the average here. So I took about 7% and 12%. Once again, um, just to estimate a bit lower here because um, we are losing out on one month and it's uh, likely... You know, maybe someone, some people might um, not be able to pay even the interest, right? So uh, over here, we have a statement from the White House saying uh, those who can pay should definitely pay. And they are giving some time because um, I'm pretty sure most people are not uh, in the right financial state to pay um, their loans right now. Um, I know a friend who is, you know, right now just asking me for uh, money just to borrow because... You know, times are tough right now. Um, a lot of people are struggling with finances. And, you know, that really goes to show how bad uh, the situation um, right now is. So, first up, um, let's look at their revenues here um, before we give an estimate. Um, last uh, quarter, they printed out a revenue of about $676 million, um, per quarter here. So, we are going to do quarterly estimates here by, uh, for next quarter. Um, I took the student loans times 7% on the low end, and we get this number. Uh, divided by 12, so this is per year, uh, no, per month, and um, per quarter is this. Uh, and I divided, uh, I times two out of three here because we are losing out on August uh, number. Uh, so we are getting about this uh, six, uh, $62 million um, next quarter here, and there is about a 10% revenue boost. Uh, well, 9 to 10%. And, you know, on the high end, we are getting 21% revenue boost. So that is very, very optimistic. Uh, so, so yeah, I think that will be reflected um, into the stock price. Um, so we are going to, you know, put about 5% and 10% reflection in the stock price because, you know, there are going to be some inefficiencies, maybe some operating expenses and all that. So we're going to give it 5 uh, percent and we're gonna be gonna give it 10 percent here so um if we're gonna give a you know bullish movement of five percent um let's say it has already been priced in because the market is forward looking and that has already been priced in right so we are priced in about four percent here um, so one more percent would be uh, about 895 so we are just breaking out here if um you know it has already been priced in and you know, if it hasn't been priced in, uh, let's uh, give it about 10% here. Uh, that would be about, uh, okay, I need more space here. I think that would be about 940. Uh, give me some time. Yeah, that would be about 940 um, if we give it a, a very high estimate of 10%. And this is if the market actually goes up, right? So um, it is possible we might not head up in the next quarter. I know... Um, you know there are a lot of uh, people saying that we are probably going to be bullish for the you know the rest of the year but anything is possible in the market and um i think we're gonna find out uh what happens right so um let's say it hasn't been priced in and let's say it starts from here uh five percent uh once again not very scientific or mathematical but there will be about 928 and if we give it about 10 percent that should be about 975 here uh 970 so yeah so there is the uh few po possible numbers we are looking at for the next quarter right um obviously this is very uh speculative and 
once again, it is possible we break down to that support and all that. But um, I am betting on SoFi, um, so I am already in the stock, and I'm betting that it will probably head out towards the nines uh, after next quarter. And I think beyond that, it will probably hit ten, right? So uh, I, in the past, I had a call for fifteen dollars uh, for twenty twenty five, and it will definitely hit. I think fifteen by twenty twenty five. I don't think that's um, very outrageous to say, um, but that will have to, you know, uh, have to be dependent on SoFi's ability to continue uh, growing um, in the next two years. But obviously, I don't have that call anymore. I sold it because um, the market went against us and all that, right? So as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the like ten time I'm recording this video. Um, I'm pretty tired right now. So as always, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe in the markets. Apparently, the markets are not open today, but I just wanted to put out a video and uh, like and subscribe.